A WWE name has departed the company. Meanwhile, a Raw superstar has teased a gimmick refresh and released WWE superstars have made their AEW debuts. More on that in a little bit. A WWE name has departed the company, Ross, someone who was on screen a little bit, also a key figure behind the scenes, but who is it according to PW Insider? It's WWE Hall of Famer Jeff Jarrett, who apparently finished up last Friday, according to PW Insider, in his position as the Senior Vice President of Live Events. Fair Who's enough. Who's going to organise the live events now? I don't actually know. Is there a name? Is there a candidate? In... I've got no idea, but uh... I think Jeff Jarrett will continue to organise different live events because what I've read from this and after looking at Ric Flair's last match and after looking at the little uh, feelers they sent out to DDP and people like that, okay. I reckon Conrad and Jeff Jarrett oh, might be on God. the brink of launching their own promotion and or continuing this series of having X last match. Oh, this would be like this would be like <laughs> AEW two, and we barely had time for the first AEW to sink in. It's funny you mention AEW because my second hypothesis is that Jeff Jarrett, because we all know, and no, no matter how many times he falls, he seems to fall upwards. I think that's the saying, isn't it? Okay. He falls upwards, therefore I reckon he could be in position to take Tony Khan's job. Oh yes, fair enough. I thought you were going to say that Jeff Jarrett historically in the Monday Night Wars would always flip to the losing side. Oh. And now that everyone's buzzing about Triple H, he's about to head to AEW. <laughs> I think just listening to Jarrett's podcast with Conrad, mm. of course. I think the, what they go on about and how they sort of built up <sighs> to the, the Ric Flair's last match. Now, Jeff Jarrett got roped into doing a lot of the stuff because Conrad was busy with StarCast mm. stuff. The entire thing around there, I think they might be getting into business. They're going to have a very purple promote. I think of the colour purple when mm. I think about the last match. Not just because of his, um, his ring, was it his boots or his... Ric Flair's? Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, because of the colour of his head as well. With the light purple as well? Yeah, everything was purple. I think they'll do a purple-themed promotion, yeah. <laughs> Um, but I yeah, don't know what I mean. uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> just what else to say about this. Uh, obviously, Jarrett returned to WWE back in May to take on a backstage role, and also did a wonderful job in kayfabe and real life as being the special guest referee in that Usos match with the Street Profits. Yeah, there's still an in-ring career rep for Jeff Jarrett if you want to do, as far yeah. as I'm concerned, because the yeah. super kick he took in the Built of SummerSlam. Oh. Oh, fantastic. But also in the match itself, nothing went wrong. No. Which is the, maybe the only special guest referee match ever. Maybe he should be wrong. a referee then. Well, he's obviously got a natural flair for it. Um, elsewhere in WWE, Mustafa Ali is hindered at a gimmick refresh, tweeting, I've always found myself toning down who I am to be more marketable. And because of that, I find myself trying to find myself. I'm Pakistani, I'm Indian, I'm American, I'm Muslim, I'm Mustafa Ali, and I'm going to embrace all of that. Screw being marketable, I'm going to be a message. You know what? I, again, just let him talk and do promos. Isn't yeah, it? let him do whatever he wants to do. Yeah. It's, it's, I don't know what else there. I think Road Dog did a nice uh, reply to that tweet there, saying like you're like you're the marketable thing. Just to try and paraphrase what he tweeted. Yeah, at him. Yeah. But it was a nice thing. And Mustaf, we sit here on his channel all the time, don't we? Just say, just let the guy talk. We go back to those promos he cut in his back garden with the fences and whatnot in the snow outside off his own back. Mm. He can do it all. And he's been doing the wrestling part more so on Raw over the past couple of weeks. A couple of really like imaginative finishes with the the, the 450 and the Styles Clash. And then last week there was the, oh, what was it? I forgot. And it was really good, though. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I would, if he came out and cut a promo like that, it would be maybe the second best promo I've heard all week after, I'm not Rocky Marciano, I can't. Oh, I'm 18 in Stewart. It was so I'm weird. really heavy. <laughs> oh. Um, I watched it live and I couldn't look at the screen. Um, Impact Wrestling now, Ross, because because apparently some Impact champions could be leaving the company very soon, according to Fightful Select. Yes, the Impact Tag Team champions, Doc Gallows and Carl Anderson, oh, upside down, because oh, it's yeah. cool now. Uh, original deals were two-year contracts set to expire in late July. However, contrary to previous reports, the two aren't exactly free agents as of yet. We reported in the past they committed to appearing through August, and we've been told they are actually agreed to extensions. Oh, that's very contrary, yes. yes. I wonder which one's legitimate. Although I'm it sounds like the more recent ones them leaving. Yeah. Yeah. I don't know. I don't know. Um, apparently, they will remain in Impact until uh, at least the August 26th and 27th tapings in, holiday weekend, in Dallas, Texas. Club, <laughs> also, they'll be heading over to New Japan uh, for a couple of weeks in September as well, which will be a nice return for them to an old promotion, but will be contractually free agents by then. Uh, also, Fightful say they heard in the past that they'd agreed to do some work with New Japan through the 2023 Wrestle Kingdom shows. Shows? I thought it was just one night now. Two. In fact, last year, I think it was three. Yeah. But now it's back to two. What? I thought it was back to one. Oh, I, I remember reading a report that it was Over back the to weekend, one as well. Yeah. Oh, Maybe it's just one. Who knows what's happening no, next year? I hope it's back to one. Yeah. I, I guess them, them being in New Japan is just, it just should be a thing, shouldn't it? Because of their history there. Yeah, and but where's the Bullet Club now? 
It's all torn asunder. Tamatonga's not even in the Bullet Club now. You don't need Tamatonga in the Bullet Club. Oh! Let him fly away with the Eagle's Nest. Oh. He doesn't need those BC brethren holding him down. <laughs> Chris Bay's there. Chris Bay's fine. Yeah, he's good. He's good. Yeah. Jay White. Jay yeah. Jay Y. Yeah. Um, or you call him Jay Bloody Y. Jay Bloody Y. Jay Bloody Y. That's yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and back to AEW now, actually. I was going to say back to WWE, but not really, because we're talking about former WWE superstars who've now made their AEW debuts. Tony's habit of just hoovering up the released WWE stars is is continuing. Although we should say, in the in the hoovering up process, this isn't like a, a permanent hoovering into the hoover bag. Oh, okay. This is just like a pickup off the floor. It might go back on the floor later. You know, no, right, sort okay. of like a, a, a kid's toy or something like that. Okay. Because we have the Forgotten Son and one-time NXT champion, Weston Blake, formerly known, of course, as Wesley Blake. Mm-hmm. He made his AEW debut on Dark in a losing effort to Daniel Garcia. No okay. shame in that. No, no shame in that no at shame all. In that I at hope all. he got to meet back up with Buddy Murphy backstage. That would have been nice. Yeah. Or Buddy Matthews. The dubstep cowboys. Yes. You didn't live if you don't know what they are. Oh, it was great. Yeah. Uh, the early days of NXT. Mm. Uh, also, the former No Way Jose made his debut, teaming with Vary Morales in a loss to uh, to the Iron Savages. This, this is the main news here. Yeah. Because Bear Country is a fantastic name. I liked when you look it. you look at Bear Country as a, an aesthetic, you think, oh, they're just two big bears, two mm. big bears of men. But they've been renamed to the Iron Savages. This is, it's not as like egregious as the Viking experience. No, but it's, it's, a long, it's a long, very similar line. Unnecessary yeah. though, don't I? I know they come out with a little sort of berry, irony masks in the, I yeah. guess they've gone, oh, they're iron them. Oh, let's call yourself the iron savages. Uh, but <sighs> it just seems like an unnecessary change. I, I'd be worried. Uh, maybe maybe one of them was worried that like bear country makes them sound lovable or cuddly, but I don't think it does. Because <laughs> when, no, when you see them, you're like, whoa, this yeah. is bear country. But I don't know. Yeah. <sighs> Now you say it though, the in, in isolation, savages. bear country. No, it's fine. Oh, it does sound quite nice though, doesn't it? No, I think it sounds like you're entering bear country now. There's bears mm. around. Careful. Little cuddly bears. No, not little cuddly bears like at the all. the one upstairs that was in Jack's chair this morning when he arrived in the office. Oh, I threw that across the room, that From bear. Ikea? What was oh, it called? I can't remember. Whatever. It's oh, a triple jump thing. Well, the Ikea name or the name they've given it? The name they gave it? Emma. Emma. But the Ikea name's like Dunkelskurg or something. There's like a that. picture of Emma. Oh, there there. why have you done Emma's this? Emma's made the news. You know, I threw it across the room because Fred that arrogant youth had put it on my chair in my hat with my headphones on and I wasn't having any of it. Hmm. Didn't realise I had my headphones on so when I threw it, my headphones now ripped out. Bang. The... Uh, but there's the news there. The, the WWE superstars you really have, are missing and, and, and longing for, they are now in AEW confirmed. Potent- kind but of. maybe not, not permanently. Really, yeah, yeah, not really. Fair enough, they've right. had one match. Uh, thank you very much for watching this news video we will be back uh, later on today with more wrestling news as well leave your thoughts in the comment section down below and thanks once again for watching I've been Jack this has been Ross and we'll see you very soon